Hello, hi everybody. What's going on, my dudes? Welcome to another RuneScape news coverage video. For this video, we're going to be talking about activity pets since they came out with a new dev blog with a design change. So, without any further ado, let's jump right into the video. Let's go. Cats is the illest. What you talking about, Willis? Alright guys, links to this dev blog is down in the description below if you want to read it in its entirety. But to start off, just a bit of recap. On the 30th of October, they launched an activities pet poll. It included 12 options for pets, covering non-skilling and non-combat activities like clue scrolls and minigames. The intention was that the top 6 options would be selected and then moved to a player competition where artists could design the pet, players would vote on it, etc. However, when they launched the poll, feedback suggested that the update was not wanted by all of the community. And that that the efforts should focus on other changes such as improvements to already needed pets or existing pets such as making current pets that aren't overrides overridable. Players have also had the concern that they've played the attached content already and didn't want to play it again just to get these pets. Plus their runescape not petscape especially considering they've added a number of pets in recent months and the player only has the ability to showcase one at a time. They say that while these opinions aren't necessarily shared by everyone they're still surprised with how much negative posts they got. Taking it back four months, the biggest reason that they greenlit the activity pets was so it could be developed mostly entirely by an external art studio. By working with them, they could add additional updates to the release schedule at a time when players have been wanting much more. That way they can get ahead of themselves and stay ahead, which would improve the quality and quantity of 2020's updates. Also important to note that they plan on working with this art studio for a couple other projects like area remasters and rewards. Now take Taking that all into account, they've decided to make the following changes. They're going to reduce the number of pets down to 4, so the update takes a smaller portion of the external studio's time. This will hopefully also reduce the petscape criticisms. Three of these will come from the top options on the poll, which is clue scroll, area, and money making pets, since they were notably more popular than the other options. And they're also adding a rune score pet, which came from a very popular player thread at the time of the poll. This will not be an RNG pet, and would instead represent rune score progress which goes some way to addressing the i don't want to play the content again criticisms jagex feels that the pets listed here are the cream of the crop and will be exciting for players who are positive about the update next in the same update they also want to address issues that the people have with pets in general for one they're going to be looking to make a number of existing pets into overrides including some headliners like the edamu pets this does include exploring whether there is an interest in creating generic attack defend death and other animations that could be applied to all pets that currently don't act as overrides. They said they'll be canvassing you for other quality of life improvements that they can make to the pets at the same time. So send your ideas for improvements on the forums, Reddit, Twitter, etc. They feel it's a wiser use of their time than making a wider range of pets. So ultimately, your petscape concerns have been heard, and they're going to be extra vigilant about adding pets as rewards in the future. They've seen several threads that have offered alternate cosmetics to pets, and they're paying close attention. They'll also look to bolster the other updates that will develop from external studios, particularly as they have come out high on the annual survey, which gives you a hint of what they might be. That said, Jagus is looking for your designs for those pets that I've talked about. Send in your concepts for any of the four pets. Doesn't matter how good your drawing is, they're looking for creative ideas more than artistic talent. They're going to pick their favorites from your designs, and then we'll all be able to choose from a group of finalists. The winners will get six months of free RuneScape membership, and there will be a link in the post for more details on how to submit your ideas, so do check the link down below for that. And that's pretty much it. That's the follow-up and the changes to the Activities Pet update. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Do you prefer this as opposed to the original proposal? Let me know. With that, I'm wrapping up the video. If you enjoy it, hit the like button if you're not subscribed yet. And you want to stay up to date on all things RuneScape related, then hit that subscribe button. Anyways, I appreciate you watching. I am out. Aloha.